Hi guys, this is Lindsay from the Glasgow Football Tour and this is Football Makes Glasgow and we are here today to talk about Rangers history in the Champions League. Let's go. Rangers became the first Scottish side to compete in the UEFA Champions League in 1992 and they defeated Danish side Lingby in their first ever game. Rangers went unbeaten in Group A, but finished second behind French champions Marseille and narrowly missed out on reaching the inaugural Champions League final. Levski Sofia, nicknamed the Blues, would eliminate Rangers from the first round of the 1993-1994 Champions League on away goal rule. Season 1995-1996 was the only time Rangers never captured a victory in the group stage. They came up against Borussia Dortmund, Stau Bucharest and Juventus and never saw a single three-point win. Grasshoppers, Oxer and Ajax would make up the competition in 1996-1997. Again though, Rangers would finish dead last, closing five of the six games. Under Dick Advocat, Rangers eliminated UEFA Cup holders Parma in the qualifying round. Vidmar and Claudia Renya scored the goals, while Cannavaro saw red. This was sweet revenge against the Italians after they had dumped the Ibrox side out of the UEFA Cup third round the previous season. The prize for efforts was to be placed in a group with Bayern Munich, PSV Eindhoven and Valencia. Rangers dropped out of the group and went straight into the UEFA Cup. They lost there to Borussia Dortmund via a last minute goal and a penalty shootout. The following season Rangers looked set to progress after convincingly beating Sturmgratz and Monaco in the first two rounds of fixtures. They collected two more points with draws against Monaco and Galatasaray, but a loss to the Austrians meant they would finish third once again. Sir Alex Ferguson returned to Ibrox and Govan in 2003, bringing the mighty Manchester United. This was the first time that Fergie had came face to face with Scottish opponents. Manchester United would win the Battle of Britain with a goal courtesy of Phil Neville. Rangers would become the first ever Scottish side to qualify from the Champions League group stage in season 2005-2006. Rangers finished second on seven points in a group containing Inter Milan, Porto and Arc Media. It was a very special night here at Ibrox on the 6th of December 2005 when lone striker and fan favourite Peter Lovenkrantz scored an equalising goal against Inter. Rangers' dream of becoming the first Scottish side in the quarter-finals of the Champions League ended with an away goals real defeat at the hands of Villarreal. The 2007-2008 campaign would lead Rangers all the way to the UEFA Cup final in Manchester after finishing third in Group E, a group containing Stuttgart, Lyon and Barcelona. The following campaign is one that many Rangers fans would like to forget. The UEFA Cup Finals crashed out of Europe following a goalless draw and a goal four minutes from time which gave Kaunas a dramatic victory in Lithuania. Manchester United would return to Ibrox in 2010 and they only managed to take one goal off them over two games. Sadly, three draws, two losses and one win would bring a third place finish. This was the last time that Rangers ever competed in the group stages of the UEFA Champions League until now. The most recent appearance in a European final by a Scottish side was the 2022 Europa League final. Rangers played in Frank Frankfurt and sadly lost on penalties. Just how far can they go in this season's UEFA Champions League run? <laughs>